Okay, guys, so if you go back and we use auto-tune, as you can see, I took all the EQ off, and this is how it sounds with the auto-tune, and I'm using Yamaha. How beautiful is this, guys? You know, I'm using Yamaha, and auto-tune is on. Uh, we can check the auto-tune here. This is the auto-tune using on your, comp on your Yamaha. So this is super, super, super exciting. And one of the things I love about Yamaha is that I spend over two, three hours and now going through YouTube and learning everything. And I basically figured out all this soundboard. This is DM3S, and I was able to figure out exactly how to use this soundboard without no help. But one thing I did not, one thing that I wasn't able to figure out was to use my VST, like I use, I love to use this stuff, right? Things like this. I never, it took me a couple of days out of frustration, but I was, I was able now to figure out how to do this thing. and. Due to uh, uh, the software that they sent me, I tried to do it by myself. It didn't work. And then I'm still asking for help and nobody helps me out. But right now, I just figured out how to use this. The reason why I love Yamaha is that you can basically route channel one by one to your computer. That way, you don't lose anything, right? I would confess, I grew up in a digital world where there's no analog and digital, meaning everything I do is touch screen. Sometimes I go to a place where there is no touch screen and I start touching the screen, it sound people look at me like I was crazy because why? Every soundboard I've touched is a touch screen. And it's much easier for me to figure out things because that's just how it works. It's just how it works. But I'm going to show you exactly how I was able to do my live stream here. Like right now I'm doing a live stream is going to my soundboard and I'm able to record everything thanks to VST rack element from, um, I was going to say super rack, sorry. And this is basically how it looks like there, guys. And I figured out exactly how to do this now. But if you can see me and just see exactly how this rack works, and it's so much simple. All right. The only thing you need is the computer. And what else you need is all your VST that you have on your computer. I mean, you name it. You know, that's one thing I love about me using Super Rack from, from uh, Waves, from Waves.com. But I have a Yamaha and I was trying to use a Super Rack and then I found out Yamaha, they have their own Super Rack. It's called VST Rack elements so i download it i install it on my computer and then bang here we go it looks just like super right guys like exactly and i don't know if they got it from them or super right got it from them uh waves i don't it doesn't matter but this is much easier that you can do you can basically route channel one by one and how I was able to do this, guys, is basically going to, um, you go to and hardware, sorry. You can go here and pick your, basically what you got. Um, so mine is DM3. I picked that one. And the channels is one through one, one and two. If you guys know how to monitor output from one to one, that would be great. But. You know, I like this. This is much better. You know, it's sent you one to one. And we can see it now. If I go to my channel and look, this is how it's going to look like now. So we go to main. You press a main, you can see everything is here. You know, so I was able basically to put some stuff here. My, you know, my VST, I like to use um, compression from FabFilter. You know, so I use compression 
And I also go back and use Pro EQ. This is four. And this is how my microphone sounds like. Okay, so, and we go back. I use Super Rack from, from Slate Digital. This is like my favorite. I use this in every, every channels, you know, just to give you some boost. You know, I got the microphones, as you can see, guys. This microphone I'm using, it's a good microphone. But I like to tweak things up, you know. They always say option is good. So I use option. And you can see I have SSL. This is like a native here. And lastly, I use NSA, NS1 stereo. This is just to give you... um basically to clean up your vocals, right? To clean up the room that you're in. If I take this thing off, this is going to sound like, listen to this. There's a lot of noise. So imagine if you have a 16 channels, that sounds like this, right? But when you go back and enable it, this is how it sounds now. Much simple and easy. And you can also use whatever you want to use. So let's say if I want to use auto-tune. Uh, let's enable this. This is how it sounds. Oh. <laughs> Guys, they use auto-tune and Yamaha. You know, so this is not cheating, but you can see my auto-tune here and it works. If I go to channel one, we can see the channel one here. Give me a second. Okay, guys. So if you go back and we use auto-tune, as you can see, I took all the EQ off. And this is how it sounds with the auto-tune. And I'm using Yamaha. How beautiful is this, guys? You know, I'm using Yamaha. And auto-tune is on. Uh, we can check the auto-tune here. This is the auto-tune. Using on your, comp on your Yamaha. So... This is super, super, super excited. And you can go back to my YouTube channel if you want to pursue and show you exactly the length and show you exactly how everything looks like. But yeah, you can use AutoTune on your Yamaha without no problems. And you can see it here. I got all... <laughs> I apologize, guys. This is weird, but... You know, this is how it looks like with this. And we can go back and basically remove this off. If you have any question, please, guys, ask me. I'm going to, no, 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 no. I don't want to remove it. I'm going to just disable it. And this is how it sounds with EQ on, right? If we go back and, and show you the channel, this is the channel. I took all the EQ off. Basically, everything is off. We know EQ. And if we take, if we bypass this one here, this is how it sounds. You hear the noise, but this is how the microphone sounds now. We know EQ on. We take everything off. Took the super rack off. Uh, sorry, super rack. Uh, VST rack elements. This is how it sounds. And if you can look, you can see I bypass everything, right? Everything is bypassed. And if we put it back, this is going to sound. Very, very clean, guys. And you can try this at home. And any question you have, let me know, right? You can try this at home. This thing works. And this works in the Yamaha. The reason why it works, I can go back and show you. Um, it was easy for me to basically use my computer or my soundboard. So for you, for this to work, you go to your computer, you set everything up correctly, and if you go back on your, now on your soundboard, this is what it's gonna look like. Let me just go on a live stream and use all the EQ. This is how it sounds now on the live stream. If you go to the graphic design, the graphic, this is what it's gonna sound like. And we go back to the EQ first, right? This is a channel one here. As we can check, there's no EQ. There's basically literally nothing. I took everything off. And now we can go back on your setting. 
we go to the patch right here channel one is the usb you always have to use a usb for channel one it's a usb you can see it's working over there but mine are using a usb so that way you can be able to achieve what i'm achieving right now for your usb to work or the nsd um any of your VST to work is gonna have to be on the USB. So that's the reason why mine works. If I took it off from USB, it's not gonna work. You're not gonna see, you can see a signal, but it's not gonna work. But that's basically how you do these things. If you have any question, guys, please let me know. And how to do your super, uh, your VST rack elements. I apologize, I get used to Super Rack a lot, but this is how you use a VST Rack element on the Yamaha, on the Yamaha um, DM3. I hope you enjoyed this, guys. And let me put my auto tune back on so you can hear me again. My auto tune, let me work it. Oh, do not forget to subscribe, guys. Because my auto tune is on. And don't forget to subscribe. Whatever things you have. Oh, by the way, I know you guys are going to ask me these questions, right? Like, hey, Jeremy. Um, yeah. Is, now, is there any latency? Yes, there's a lot of latency. Especially if you pick any VST that you don't know. The reason why mine everything works is because... I took a long time for me to look, understand which one is off, which one is on. There's a lot of v VST that has latency. So just make sure you know exactly what VST you're using. So that way you don't run around and you're singing or you're talking, your microphone, your lips, and the, and, the, and the audio, the audio and the video doesn't sync together. So guys, I would suggest that you can go on and test all the VST. I have so many VST that you can't name it. Let's say, let's try this. You see all this VST I have? Like I have uh, thousands and thousands of VST. So you don't just have to go on and put on something and, and, and hope it's gonna work. No, it's not gonna work. And sometimes I try most of the VST, it has a latency, I'll take it off. So this is my VST that I use. It never gives me any problem. Never give me any problem. There's a lot of also that you can use, but I just prefer this VST. This is like my go-to every single time I use the sounds. And I hope you enjoy, guys. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this video and also share it. Thank you so much, and I hope to see you again soon. And ciao.